Hey guys, this is Financial Fitness, and I want to talk about the heating oil shortage. Now, I am not familiar with this. We don't have it in the South. I, I'm sure we do, but I've never lived in a house that had it, and I've never had any dealings with it. So I looked into it, and the Zero Hedge said 5.5 million Americans that mostly live up in the Northeast have this heating oil. And turns out, this stuff is, I'll put it right here, it's efficient, it burns hotter than natural gas, and there's no risk of carbon monoxide poisoning. Now that's, that's pretty cool, and what's not cool is there's a shortage of it. Now, the, what we usually use down here is natural gas. If you're not burning wood, you're burning natural gas or propane. So I'll put the natural gas chart right here. That's going to the moon as well. So. We're in a period where all energy is going up. Crude oil, natural gas, you know, all your propanes, all energy, coal, China snatching and grabbing for energy, India's having rolling blackouts. You know, that's what causes the price to go up is supply and demand. This is, you know, it's normal stuff. But here's what I want to push home today. So I've got three ways to heat my place. I've got a wood stove, I've got a pellet stove in my shop, and I've got a propane tank in the ground. Now, I'm trying to push this home because one is none, two is one, and three is where you want to be. So, I'm gonna, as a matter of fact, I'm going to have my wife come out here and hold the camera, and I'm going to show you my pellet stove. It burns pellets, it burns, the top comes off, and it'll burn wood. I burn two by fours, just whatever. And it all has a waste oil drip on it. So I also burn my diesel oil. Burns real efficient, just a little bitty drip. There's no black smoke, don't, don't get freaky weird. But it heats my whole place. This is a 5,000 square foot shop and it'll heat it. You don't have to mess with it. It's just over there, just doop, doop, doop. It's really cool. So pay attention, the grand solar minimum's breathing down our neck. It's gonna be cold and I don't want you to freeze your tits off, so let's go. Hey guys, I've got to interrupt the video to invite you to the red pill. It's going to be so cool. There's going to be so many people there talking about things that we can't talk about here. This is your last chance. After this, there is no turning back. You take the blue pill. The story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. In Lafayette, check it out. I'm leaving an affiliate link in the description below. Hey guys, this is the pellet stove that I was telling you about, but <clears throat> it's also a burn anything stove. See, at first I didn't do the pellet thing. All I had, this was not here, and you put anything you wanted to burn in this tube. It's a downdraft stove. It's a jet stove. So you, if you don't want to burn pellets, this, pellet, this is a pellet hopper, you pull this gate, and pellets come down here and they fall on this tray. You got a primary, secondary, and that third area is for that little ash to get it all out. And after it burns, it falls, the ashes fall in my little, little ash trap there. So, but if you don't, if you don't have pellets or you can't find pellets, say I was burning whatever, I was burning sticks, two by fours, waste lumber, just whatever, you take this out, this lid covers up this part and then it's a downdraft stove again. So this, it, it ignites right here and it sounds cool, it sounds just like a jet. The heat comes up, this pipe is inside here. It comes up and it comes back down. And if there's enough fuel left over after it ignites the first time, it will ignite again when it gets down here. You can hear it sometimes, boom, boom, boom. You can hear it gasifying and then it goes out outside so that's really cool it works really good and if you really want to get it hot quick that used rotella tea <laughs> burns really good just a little small drip i've got it going just a little bit to show you just a little bit it'll woo, woo, every time it drips down you, you want it to where you can watch it because if you can't see it it'll carb up and it'll spill and all this bad stuff so that's an excellent way to heat anything. If you've got a, 
a heating, if you've only got one or two heating ways to heat your place. I'm probably going to build one on my welding channel that I have not started. I'm going to do just a welding channel. I'm going to probably build one and show you how. So I hope you all enjoyed it. Like and subscribe. Ring the bell. I will see you tomorrow.